Beloveds, the aspect of time, the aspect of the time-space continuum is a structure that was given to beings so that they could myopically focus upon the dance of light and dark, the dance of shadow. If you were able to observe yourself as a being of light, seemingly all at once, you would most likely explode or implode, depending upon your focus. But when you have slowed your existence down to a frame by frame existence, when you have allowed yourself to study, shall we say, the behaviors and the thoughts and the ways in which each of you are manifesting, and the more that you come into silence and the more that you sit in meditation, you are indeed slowing down this process, beloved ones, for understand that the speeding up of one's existence, where one seems to be standing still and the world is occurring so rapidly around you when you are able to actually slow this down and use time to your benefit. It allows you to see that what it is that you think as a concept based on an observation that you have had, you actually bring forth into manifestation through the emotions that are applied to it, whether you are afraid of the thing and it manifests in one direction, whether you are enthralled by another and it manifests in another direction. We are asking you beloved ones to slow down and come into silence enough that you are able to see how it is that you are actually manifesting every moment of your existence. For it will mm, take away the part of you that says, I did not want this. I did not ask for this. This is not the way that it was supposed to go. When you can say, I have created every moment of this, for I am the co-creator of my universe from my mother, my father, my God, and I are one. In fact, I am God and so are you. Understand that they will come for you, <laughs> as was evidenced by Yeshua, as was evidenced by even the incarnation that I had where so much of the story was changed. For the game that is afoot is not one of radical self-responsibility. It is one of, I am a victim and look what you have done to me. You have perpetrated this, you have perpetrated that. You have caused this to occur in my life and this is not the way that I wanted it to be. When the truth is, beloveds, that you have agreed to each and every moment of existence. So the use of the device of time wisely is to study and to pause and to say, why have I drawn this very circumstance into the realm of my reality? What am I meant to learn from this? What am I meant to teach from this? How can I experience this energy dynamic in such a way that I would not need to repeat it? For you have many repeating patterns, beloveds. You are very much like the hamsters that are spinning upon the wheel or caught on a carousel that spins out of control. Hmm. When you allow yourself to suspend the rigor with which your mind has applied, not the mind of God, but the mind that you have so lovingly lavished with control, as we have referred to it, the ego mind, when you are able to slow it and you are able to look frame by frame as you would a slide within a carousel, you can say, ah, yes, here is where I made this choice. Here is where I made this decision. Here is where I said I must not or will not experience that. And the universe said, are you sure? And you have caused the perpetuation of a certain circumstance, beloveds. But if you wish that to cease, you must be willing to walk through it as one would walk through a veil, for that is merely all that it is. So we will now end our lesson in quantum physics for the day. We will ask you, beloveds, to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to just continue to be curious. Rather than being absolutely sure that you know what each and everything and each and every person is for and why things, well, if he does this, this is going to occur. What if you could just allow yourselves to be curious? Hmm, 
why is this continuing to manifest? I seem to have think that I have beaten cancer and yet it has come back four times. I seem to think that mm, I have handled or resolved a certain issue in your life and yet it seems to repeat. Beloveds, find the cause and root it out as you would a weed. Study it. Do not be so quick to burn it as to allow yourselves to love it and to embrace it. And there you will find the seat of your power, the seat of your soul. Become curious, beloveds. What is it that you, through your intentions, are actually making manifest? Hmm. Listen to this again and again, beloved ones. There is much that is here for you. Hmm. We love you very much. We enjoy our presence with you. And indeed, we will speak with you again.